G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, let's talk barbecue. Today we've got the, the Pro-Q Frontier, and this is their mid-range barbecue, so they, they, it comes in a larger size. This is one of the competitors to the Weber Smoky Mountain. So from the top we've got Temp Pro, gives you your pit temperature, reasonably accurate. We've got vents, open and close, and we've got the handle. So coming down the barbecue, we have a few features to talk about here. So the first of which is the latch. This effectively holds everything still, which is really useful for picking sections of the barbecue up, but also for keeping smoke locked in. So it sort of helps with this seal, helps pull everything together. If I turn this around, we've also got doors. And you'll see these doors exist on both layers of the barbecue and effectively allow you access to the meat. So you can temperature probe it, you can do other things. You can spritz it through this hole and it allows you to see things without having to actually lift off the lid, which, which lets a lot of the heat release. One of the key features of this barbecue is the fact that it's in sections. So you can see here we've got two sections. Effectively, you can cook with one or two sections. So you could actually fill the barbecue back up just like this. If you didn't have much to cook or if you wanted it to be hotter, you can even remove the middle sections all together. If you want to use it effectively like a kettle barbecue, you can do this. And I often use this for searing a steak after I've low and slowed it on the smoke gun. I'll drop it down and put it straight on the coals ready for a hot and fast. Inside the base here, we've got very simple. There's a charcoal basket, which is raised up to allow airflow underneath. And you have three vents, one, two, three. So what I've got set up here is water pan on the bottom section. And effectively, this prevents the barbecue from getting too hot. So you fill this with water, your coals are underneath, and this is the whole design of the bullet smoker, which allows very precise temperatures, very accurate. Overall, it's a fantastic barbecue and a great way to smoke meats. So I've obviously given this a lot of love, a lot of use over the years. Uh, the main benefits I see over for, from this over its main competitor, the Smoky Mountain, is the fact that you've got sections. So you can take out sections, cook on a smaller scale, use less fuel, you can grill on the lower setting, so you can use it effectively the same as, a, as you would a kettle. So some of the best cooks on this would be the very, very, very low and slow. So I've done a couple of pulled porks that go on at midnight the night before you want to have an event. They're roughly a 20 hour cook. So before you go to bed, you fill up the water pan, get your coals roaring, you wake up at 8 a.m. and it's, it's, it's still cranking along. It requires very minimal maintenance and would absolutely recommend this over Tom's Barbecue, the Weber Smoky Mountain.